Farmall M is down for the count. Now some of you that have been with the channel know that I run an electronic ignition module on this 1940 Farmall M and it works pretty good for me. Uh, it's still something that can go bad just like points. Uh, and I don't know, I've had this module in here for probably two years. There is a video of me installing this and I will put that in the link or a link in the description down below. Um, but I think I have a bad module again. It's It's been a while, but uh, I think I do. I think I have a bad module. Uh, I'm gonna test this. This should read, this is a three ohm, so three, three, five, three, two. That should, that should be in the ballpark right there. I can tell you typically when you're running an electronic ignition on your farm all tractor or any tractor, I suppose, uh, nine times out of 10, when you lose spark, it's going to be your module so let's get this cap off here and check things out well there's nosy so before i started rolling the camera i actually did do some tinkering i did some wire pulling and this and that definitely getting gas in the carburetor and i know i'm fine on that end of things which is the other side of the tractor but if you've been with the channel any period of time you've pretty much deduced that i run a, an electronic module or re electronic ignition in this tractor over points and condenser and whatnot. I really like it. Uh, it's been a couple years since I put that this particular module in. This is not the first module I've had in there, um, or I shouldn't say module, but ignition system. This is not a Pentronix. This is a different one that I went with. They gave me a five-year warranty. So if this is bad, this should be covered. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is come up here, check my coil. My coil should read, you know, three to three, five, three, two, right in there. And if that's good to go, I'm going right for the module. Now these modules, standard, should read, um, just go right on the ends here and I'll show you my little cheap meter I bought at Tractor Supply for 10 bucks. <laughs> and uh, it should read uh, 200 ohms standard. So anything way below that or way above that, and I gotta change out that module. And in theory, if they make good on their original offer, which was five-year warranty, I should get a brand new one, no problem. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm gonna come right over here, positive to positive and negative to negative. I got the ohm set down at two, set the ohm meter at 200, and that's my cheapo Junko, but it works. All right, positive, positive. All right, you can, hopefully you can see that. That says 3.3, 3, 3, 2, bouncing back and forth. We got us a good coil, so not worried about the flamethrower to replace that. Now I'm gonna come down on these wires here. They're coming right out of the distributor. And let, all right, so I got the hot wire coming out of the distributor in the ground. The battery cables are disconnected, and it is also disconnected from the flamethrower coil. So I'm gonna go positive here. I'm gonna come over onto this side and actually I need to turn this up to 2,000 ohms because I'm trying to get a minimum of a, or a 200 read. I don't want it right at 200. All right, we got positive, we got negative. Okay, we already started off at one, so I exclude that. We're looking at 702 703 ohms my guess is this module is junk uh, it should read about 200 now just to make sure i'm going to get a hold of the manufacturer um, and see what this module should be reading but i'm almost guaranteeing you it shouldn't be 702 ohms no way so probably got a bad module and uh, hopefully i'll get that for free and we'll go from there but Easy, easy check. If you if you are running these uh, electronic ignition modules, real easy. You just take the wires off, make sure everything else is disconnected. You're good to go, and then uh, check your coil, and then come right down and check your module. And man, it doesn't get any easier than that. Now, one thing I will tell you is that running a module is more expensive than running points and condenser. 
all right points and condenser if you're running the tractor hard you should get I don't know three four years out of it anyways uh, condensers almost uh, I couldn't tell you the last time I changed a condenser in a tractor well other than the H but I just did that because I just wanted a full tune but um, points will go bad and and whatnot but I really like this um, electronic ignition you've heard the tractor run in a lot of different videos and I think a lot of that has to do with the fire coming out of this box right here so thanks for tuning in and I'm gonna get this fixed it'll be in a separate video and we got chickens fighting so I gotta go break them up